Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. So today we're checking out the brand new rockets. All right, we got the Scald, we got the Incinerator, and we got the Scorcher. These things are pretty awesome. I really like the light version, guys. Like on something like your little Blitz, these light ones have a really quick re reload time. Okay, six seconds. That's awesome. To where the bigger ones, okay, the bigger ones tend to have a much larger 12 second reload time. So the mediums and the heavies take a little longer to reload. They got a 500 meter range and they got an ability called blast charge where they've got an accumulation effect. And once it accumulates, bam, you get a little explosion and, and the enemy gets damaged and anybody surrounding the enemy gets damaged as well. So it's great for doing damage to groups of robots. Really cool really cool little thing right there okay now it doesn't really say too much about how much damage it does to the enemy all right I just know it blows up okay but very cool very cool thing right there so let's take this out onto the battlefield try these things out and see how they do all right so these weapons are 100% maxed out because I'm on the account that picks on it cones now I will say this, okay, these aren't really designed for up close brawling. These are designed to hang back at four or five hundred meters and fire some shots off into the crowd. Now up close and brawling they do, they're underwhelming for brawling weapons, okay? They're a little underwhelming for brawling because they just don't do enough damage for up close personal combat. I mean. They're great weapons, but they're just not made for the close range stuff, in my opinion. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and leave right now. Let's get on out of there. We're not going to be able to take that, so I'll get myself into a better position. So this is where they really shine, like sneak attacks. Like I can come in here, blast off a few shots on these guys, and then move. These really aren't like close range fighting weapons guys something like this on a really fast little mobile robot is great someone's shooting me from over here all right so we just went into our ability let's blow these guys up I am lagging a lot today so I'm missing a lot of shots due to the lag normally I don't have lag like this but it's not running well today but yeah, you just don't want to get up too close with these. You just want to stay in the back and just fire some shots off in the groups of enemies. That's really how these were made to be played. Alright. Uh-oh. I'm out of here. Please stop shooting me. I need to find the meter with the new pilot who can come heal me up. But yeah, these are. This is pretty much how you want to play these guys. You don't want to really put these on your beacon runner. You don't want to put these on your brawler. You want to put these on your little mobile sneak attacker type guy. I mean, they'll do a lot of damage. They'll really help your team out if you play them right. But if you try to get in too close and personal, I just don't think they're going to work out for you. All right, he's going up in the air. We're going to try to avoid being shot by that. I do like them a lot. go for this hawk all right we just don't want to run up real close to him we would we just want to stay in the back stay away from all the other guys all right he's about to blow up nope didn't quite get the bomb filled up someone's over here let's go get him all right come on come on come on come on all right so he's gonna blow up in a second I'm getting hawked so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my ability see if I can get this whoa he's right there okay someone else killed him cool cool let's go ahead and run over this way let's blast this guy a few times someone's shooting me with a purple shield I don't know who that is or what they have I should have teleported shouldn't I let's get him let's get him all right Mr. Hades I'm gonna go ahead and use my ah oh, crap sandwiches all right I'm gonna come in here with my Let's go ahead and bring in this Blitz, alright? Little Blitz, another really mobile, fast little guy. 
I can just run around and try and pick people off from a distance. And I love the fact that all four of these reload really quickly. Where did that come from? You get out of here, sir. Oh man, it's gonna get me. I was not expecting him to spawn in right there. Alright, but he did. Here he comes, here he comes. I'm gonna hit him with my thing and I'm gonna try and run away. Alright, he's about to blow up like a bomb. Alright, alright, get off that building, ding dong. Why do I keep shooting? Stop that. Alright, here we go. Let's fire sh Nope, didn't get him. People are shooting me from every which direction. There's something up there. I think it's a nightingale. Where did that- what is that? Stop it! Where'd he come from? <laughs> I didn't even see him. He was like camouflaged. Cook a cook a camouflage. Oh I'm dead. Let's go and bring in our Hades, man. This is a I picked the, the wrong drone. I picked the one drone that didn't have anything set up. Normally I set these drones up for uh I like to set these drones up to help my robot survive. These are great for beating up Arthur's. Oh, don't want to shoot him. He's got a purple shield. But yeah, it's really lagging a little bit today, and I feel like I'm running way behind. I feel like, like, everything is just a split second behind, like, on the aiming and stuff. You know what I mean there? You don't really do too much splash damage, though. That's the only thing with these. You don't get a whole lot of splash damage. And of course, with a rocket, it's always hard to hit a moving target, like somebody who's jumping. Now he's a little too far away. Go ahead and run over this way. There we go, let's blast some shots off into the crowd here, see if we can get that Arthur. Yeah, these are really designed to be hang back and attack weapons. Alright? That's how you want to play these if you get them. If, you, if you're not into the, the longer range stuff, I mean, these are great for Team Deathmatch, guys. These are excellent Team Deathmatch weapons. The only reason I'm not playing Team Deathmatch... Dude, get the crap out of the way, man. Gosh, I hate I hate when your teammates come and they, they ram into you and they push you around. That gets on my nerves, man. It's one of the few things you see me get mad about is when a teammate bashes into me and starts pushing me and then I get stuck on them. I hate that more than anything. That drives me nuts. Makes me wish I could blow up my own teammates sometimes, man. I don't know why that gets to me so much, but for some reason that's like... That's like... One of the worst things that can happen in War Robots is your teammates doing that. I'm sure he didn't mean to do it, but it seems like it seems like he could have avoided around me if he wanted to. Instead, he walked up right up against me. Instead of going around, he just pushed right up against me. I mean, why, why do you do that? Alright, enough of my complaining, guys. Let's make these dudes dead. That little dude's about to die. Come on, come on, come on. Blow up, blow up. Oh, he got his shield up. All right, let's go after this dude. We're going to feed that bomb, so hopefully... No, he got out of it somehow. Yeah. I got to go invisible. I'm in a really bad spot here. I'm, I don't want to be in this up-close fighting situation, so this is not what I wanted. Luckily... luckily it ends up being okay for me, for the most part. Oh, he's got a last stand. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pick our. Uh, let's go ahead and pick our Fenrir. Now this is gonna be weird. Not not getting up close and personal with the Fenrir. Like hanging back with the Fenrir is gonna be strange. I mean, you could get up in their face with this guy. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's go ahead and try it. They're all hanging out over here, so. Oh, battle ended. Let's go play another one, guys. Go play one more. Well, 2.5 million damage, 4 kills. Not that impressive. The only thing I got to say about these weapons is the damage is a little bit underwhelming for the most part. I mean, for a maxed out set of weapons at level 12 Mark II, 
I'm not getting a whole lot of damage out of them. Alright, well, let's go ahead and start off with our little phantom again. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun with these, but I'm definitely underwhelmed. See what I mean, dude? Gosh. That kind of crap drives me nuts. He just rams right into me and just keeps pushing. Instead of, instead of letting me go by, he just keeps pushing and holds us both up. Now I'm in a bad mood. But these are actually really good for eating up shells. Alright, these do a lot of nice damage to shells, guys. Okay, as soon as his last stand goes away, which should be right about now, let's finish him off. There we go. There we go. We got him. But yeah, the damage I'm getting is a little bit underwhelming from these. I mean, they're, they're nice weapons, but... For something that's level 12, Mark II, they don't really hit that hard, surprisingly. Alright, they just don't hit that hard. Alright, let's go ahead and run over this way. Can't hit that guy. We got a leech leeching me, hopefully nobody shoots him. Alright, we got that dude, we killed him. Yeah, these are all about hanging in the back, guys. These are... Great for team deathmatch, alright? Great for team deathmatch. Let's go run over this way. They're okay for the beacon modes too, but uh, not really my style. Alright, let's go ahead and hit our little ability. We're going to run up this ramp. We're going to do a big jump into the enemies. No! Oh, he's in, he's in phase shift. I'm going to go ahead and hit my, my thing here. Take him out real quick. Let's go ahead and move it all right now that guy's pushing me but I know for a fact that was I I teleported right into him so that doesn't count can't get mad about that one <clears throat> can't get mad about that one holy crap these guys are beating me up a little bit I gotta go see ya let's, let's shoot off onto this guy I'm going to run over this way a little bit because he's got his last stand. I don't have a last stand on this little dude, surprisingly. I should have got a, I should have had one on here. Alright, so let's go back into our ability. Finish this dude off, I hope. Like, if you use your ability, if you've got damage resistance, plus you can use, like, a, a healing module, that's going to give you so much more health, it's amazing. Looks like my thing has ended though. Alright, so we're just gonna shoot off into the crowd. He's coming after me. He's got a last. Oh! Alright, let's go ahead and come on here with our. Uh... Victory. Well, you guys get the idea, alright? Bottom line, these are really nice weapons. Overall, not really my cup of tea. They're really not something. I want to play on my account okay now if you had some drones that the drones were set up to do extra damage and stuff like that you might have a really good time of it you might have some like modulative intensifiers on your drones or some of those revitalizing whatever they are to where when you use your healing you do more damage and stuff like that with the right drone setup I think these things could really shine but by themselves as is I'm not really into them, guys. I'm not really into them. But they're nice weapons overall, just not my thing. Definitely not my thing. All right? So, anyways, I think that wraps this one up. And catch you all later. See ya.